Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. This is CN. Nice, beautiful golden gap here today. Worked, held the conviction, st stayed with it, did a, did a really magnificent job with this today. And one of the interesting things was I got up this morning and I looked at this and, and I actually was gapping at 17 something this morning. By the time the pre-market came through, it had rallied all the way up. It was over 20. Now this was all you can't see and it is here. It did end up opening here, but before that it was up here and I was like, hmm, interesting. And I did the analysis and I worked on it, I looked at it, I stayed with it and I had a high level of conviction here this would work and it did. And it did. And I felt that it would go and actually this would have kept going and gone down to 18 if it wouldn't have run out of day. It just pretty much ran out of day here. Just a couple of people covering here into the close. So let's go over it. Let's go over it. Nice opening here in CN. Beautiful show of the weakness. Drop into itself. Triggered in here. Boom. 1922, 21. Hit it. Drop and down. Here is the move into the morning. Again, if you want to trade quickly and be out of the whole trade into the morning, that's what you do. You do it. You do the trade. You do the first trade. The best entry is always the first entry, which is why I know this and have made a, a point of learning how to do it well. And that's why I read the price well enough to do that first one. It's extremely important to get that move. If you want to trade or take a second trade later in the day or hold more into the later period, you can do that. You have to be patient. The move that the second move made here was not until late. It's actually had a 15 minute. This is nice here too. You could have done this here in the 115, 130 reversal time and then it went. This zigzag pattern is not my favorite, but that's really what it did. Huge rally here. All the time that this was happening here, the market was rallying and continued up and was making new highs. This is in the morning. Market fell in the afternoon though because there was some econ that came out. So it was a reaction. It was a reaction where the market did not hold the bullishness today and fell hard based on a, a reaction to some information that came out. That, you know, is what sometimes happens when you get data reports, but, or news reports or things that happen unexpectedly. But this rally back here happened and this still held while the market was rallying and made the move down in here and then continued. So it was a nice trade. And this would have followed through no matter what happened here today because it was a good gap and it broke early, which was great. And every once in a while, you will find something that has a nice afternoon move. But I do like to do the morning move in this, and this had it. Good risk to reward in this trade. Solid trade. Good risk to reward. Almost a buck move down in there in the first 15, 30 minutes of the day. Beautiful. And that is the way you do it. So nice start to the month here in September. Nice Solid gap here this morning, start to the beginning period of the month, and it worked well. And I'm realizing more and more and more that if I just stay within my own price analysis of reading it and also see it live, I mean, this is the one thing. It's, it's doing the prep work in the morning, which I do in my gap rating when I rate the gap based on the 26 points. And then I also have to see it live. I mean, you have to see it live. I am not trading these gaps and taking these gaps in the pre-market. I am doing them live on the day. That's the best thing. If you shorted this pre-market, you could have gotten hurt in this today because you could have shorted this at 17 something. You it would have rallied then up to over 20 and you could have lost two, three dollars in, into the pre-market before it actually went broke. So I, I, you know, you have to learn how to trade these by rating the gap, determining the directional bias for the gap, whether or not it's going to follow through and work on the day, whether or not in this case more selling or shorting was going to come into it, and then also knowing where to take the entry at the correct place to take the right size and something, which I'm very good at doing. Had a wonderful day today. Look forward to a fantastic September and the next quarter earnings season, which is coming up later this month. Nice start to the month here, fall trading season. Love September. It's a wonderful month and good gap here in CN. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's September 13th and 14th. If you would like to sign up, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. I do have people already registered. I'm sure this will be a busy class because fall is a busy trading season. And if you take the class, you are eligible to sign up for the Stock Swish Show Live Trading Room to get my calls, which are rather good if I do say so myself. Have a great day, everybody.